All right, quick update on the install for the Grid Boss, the 12K PV and the Flex Boss 18. As you can see, I got quite a bit of the wires pulled. Still gotta do some battery cabling, but basically got the grid connection, which is gonna be the, basically the grid and the load. And I got some of the communication cables. I still gotta hook another one up for that. Got the ground and the neutral as well. And then over here on the Flex Boss 18, basically the same thing. Got the grid connections, got the neutral, got the ground, and got the communication cable going back to the grid boss. Still got to hook a communication cable up going to the other inverter. Haven't did that yet. And I'm going to have to make some battery cables. Basically, I got some uh, 2 aught cable there. I had some 4 aught that was already pre-made battery cables but only got that one basically two inch conduit in there you might not be able to see it so basically i got that one two inch conduit in there i won't be able to fit them all through and these really don't need that size you know two ought to be fine you know for what i'm using it for so i'll use parallel over here two two watts on the flex boss then over here on the 12k you know just use a single pair gonna be a lot less power still working on all the cables over here so as you see i got Basically, the cable's pulled, but I don't have them all connected. And then got some of the communication cables going up already and connected. So, bam, got the communication cables up there at the top. Connected up. You might be able to see it, but need to do all, all these other connections. And then also do the connections coming from the grid, which will be inside my garage in here, coming back and forth. So I'll be having, you know, the grid come up in here and I'm going to be putting a breaker that'll be running all my loads as backed up loads. So let's see if I can adjust this so you can see. So I'll be running all my loads as backed up loads. So I'll be hooking them up to this breaker right here and then going back out to my sub panel that's right through here. that I'll be moving all my loads over to to run my whole house. So basically that's a little quick update on what's going on with this. I know I haven't put out any videos on it. But if you're looking for any of this equipment for the Grid Boss or the Flex Boss or 12K or whatever, you know, of course, I have links down in the description. And as you see what I kind of do with my system, I got my inverters over here. This is what the Grid Boss is really good at. So the Grid Boss is all the way over here at the side of my house and my inverters are right over here. So, and you can just run smaller cable. I think this cable right here might be 6 AWG going to the 12K. And the wire over here, I think it's a uh, two AWG. So for the grid, so that's what your load's gonna be on and the grid power going back and forth on that same line. So, you know, it's gonna cost a lot less money to move this stuff all the way over there by itself with the grid boss being over there than if it would if you ran really big wire. So the one thing I wanna teach you about this whole thing is if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot to get this wire, it's gonna be very, very expensive, you know? I think some of this, you know, is four, five, six dollars a foot, you know, which is ridiculous. So go to your electrical supply store. So, you know, if you have one 15 minutes away or an hour away, it's going to be worth it. And go get all your wire there because it's usually going to be several dollars a foot cheaper from them than it is from Lowe's or Home Depot. So some wire is going to be reasonable at Home Depot and Lowe's, but once you get into the bigger copper wire, it gets very, very expensive. So I highly recommend you going to get an electrical supply house. Now that two watt I just got, I did get that from Home Depot just because I didn't want to wait to get it from the electrical supply house. You know, sometimes they're not going to have the stuff in stock, but all you got to do is try to see what they have. So I did pay like a dollar more a foot for that stuff that I'm going to make the battery cables out of. So if you want to save a little money, find your local electrical supply house and type in electrical supply and around you and do a search. I think the one I used in Fayetteville, North Carolina was, uh, I think it was State Electric or something like that. And uh, that's why I'll be getting my stuff at. You know, none of them are perfect, but you can go look at the prices a lot of times online. That's what I did. And the prices were, you know, probably half for the uh, two AWG and the six AWG wire than it was at Lowe's. So it's pretty ridiculous to, to waste that money. I think each one of my lines are about 60 feet to get from the inverter to the grid boss. So I had an L1, an L2, a neutral, a ground for both inverters. I did use this a bigger ground wire 
So I just ran one ground wire and then went from one inverter to the, to another just to do like a common ground. So I didn't have to run two more wires because those wires were pretty hard to pull. And like some of you might have seen on the live stream, the way that you want to pull these wires is you want to use some kind of a, a wire pulling conduit kind of lubricant. And I used like a spray can of foam and that made it work when before I tried for hours and couldn't get it to go. So with that stuff, I mean, my son did it like 10 or 15 minutes or something. So definitely well worth it. Go ahead and use that if you got more than like two 90s. So I had one, two, I had three 90s in this conduit. So made it pretty hard after that second one. And it got down maybe 10 feet past the second 90 and just what didn't want to go. I mean, as you can see, I had whatever, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I had like nine wires or whatever. So I had like nine wires or whatever. It's not going to be the easiest thing to pull. So that's the latest update. Hopefully we'll be able to get this thing up and running soon. Hopefully in the next week or so, if I get some time off, I'll be able to go ahead and finish this thing off. I ain't going to have enough time today to finish it. I got several other things I got to do. You always have regular life stuff going on. That's why I can never finish the project. So I thought I'd go ahead and put this update out for you. And definitely appreciate everybody that watches. And remember, we got a live stream tonight. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description. It'll be me and Eric, and I think we might have a special guest tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be on Eric's channel. Go ahead and check that out. And as always, thanks for watching.